Okay, so next uh, we will see uh, creating a new role. So uh, to create a new role, uh, you will click on this create role button. Uh, here you can give the uh, role name. For example, um, Okay. Uh, say it's my uh, role name. So you will give the role name here and role code. So this must be in capital letters. So usually the same role with the same name in capital letters we will give. Uh, we can use underscores. Then role category, uh, as, as we discussed uh, the different roles, right? We have uh, is uh, for different modules for financials. Fin it starts with financial abstract role. If it's abstract role, if it is a job role, financial job role. So we will select if it's a financial duty roles, we will select financials duty. So likewise, uh, for CRM, we have uh, CRM job roles, CRM duty role. So we will select CRM job role because it's a sales representative. So we will select CRM job roles as a role category. Since it's not a predefined role, this is by default, it will be unchecked and it is read only. So you can give the description in the uh, description box about this roles and responsibilities here. Then click on the next. Now here, um, I want to give the opportunity access, right? So the basic, uh, uh, the functional privileges. So for that, I'll click on add functional security policies. I'll search for the opportunity privileges. So to get the uh, complete opportunity privileges, again, you need to refer the security reference. So where you might get the, uh, the related opportunity privileges. But mostly it will start with the view or read read uh, opportunity for opportunity read. So something like this. You, you can add uh, once you select, you can add using this add privilege to the role uh, button. So this is to view opportunity. Then I'll, I'll search for update opportunity. or manage opportunity. Okay, then delete opportunity.
Okay, for now we will add these two uh, privileges. View and delete. Then we will go to the next step that is data security policies. And here uh, we will add opportunity data access. This is the policy data security policy name. And data resource is nothing but your op which object. So in, in our case, it is opportunity, right? So I'll be selecting opportunity. Uh, so then uh, in the data set, we need to select uh, whether we want to show all the values, okay, or a specific instance set that is your, your own records or your team member records. Uh, like if you are in a team, so then all the records you want to show or based on some condition, right? Or your team records, right? Uh, so that uh, we will select here. So if you select by key, so it is specific to one record. So you can just give some ID uh, of specific opportunity and then you can give the access here, whether you want to provide view or delete or uh, a different options, right? Update, manage. Uh, otherwise, um, you can select all values. So you can give the uh, access for all the records in opportunity object. Or if you select, select by instance. So where you have some predefined conditions. Um, so suppose access the opportunity for table MO opti where you are opportunity sales team member with full access. So if I select this, so if I am a team member with full access, so I'll get uh, all these uh, privileges. Okay, so I'll select all the options here. So then you can also specify the start date for this uh, policy and end date for this policy. So if you specify start date and end date, um, so it will take, the state start date will be taken automatically uh, the uh, current date. End date will be blank by default. If you provide end date, so once that uh, date is crossed, so the policy will get automatically uh, like not effective. That means uh, when user logs in, even though this policy is there, once, uh, uh, so whenever the new user logs in, right, it will check all these uh, active policies only. So whatever the active policies uh, security is available, only it will add that security. If you keep it blank, so it will be always active. Then you click OK to add the data security policy. So it will be added here. If you want to edit later, you can edit or you can also remove the data security policy here. So you have a few filters to uh, uh, filter out the data security policies. If there are more policies, you can use the policy name, policy description, data resource or privilege to filter. So you can't filter based on the condition condition. So only these are the options we have. So the next one is uh, roles and um, uh, role hierarchy. So here, uh, suppose if you want to uh, add uh, some opportunity related data, uh, the duty role, so you can add that. You just need to find out that role, opportunity related role. Okay. 
So we'll take this opportunity sales representative. We have uh, one predefined uh, duty role that gives the um, opportunity access for sales representative. So we'll select this. It manages, it also gives uh, the description, right? Manages or views all the accepts of application. This role is only for the salespersons. So we'll add this. Now, if we go to functional policies, you and if you load inherited policies, whatever the policies that are available for sales or opportunity sales representative will get auto will get added automatically. So the first two policies we added at sales representative level, and the remaining functional policies, right? So those are added to sales representative role custom by opportunity sales representative duty role. Here you can see the different uh, privileges that are related to opportunity. Okay. And then click on next after adding role hierarchy. Then go to users. Um, if you have any user, you can add it. Otherwise, you can also add uh, this role to uh, users directly uh, by searching the role, uh, by searching the user. Then take a review or take a summary. Uh, so what are what and all added uh, for functional security policies, data security policies, role hierarchy, and then users. Then if you want to take some action, you can take here, right? Um, okay. Uh, what action you can, so this is just says uh, whether you added or you removed this particular privilege or policy. Then click on save and close. The role will be created. Okay, so the changes were saved. So now, uh, so what you can do is uh, you can assign this uh, to a specific user. So I'll choose one of the user. Okay, I'll remove all the roles and just I'll keep only the sales representative role. So once you add or remove a role, so you need to run a process uh, to sync these changes. So we are we are removing this all because uh, uh, the user should not get all the additional access, but only to the custom role that we created. So I'll keep the employee role, but I'll remove the remaining roles. So now I have only employee and resource abstract roles. In addition to that, I'm adding um, CX sales representative custom role that we created.
add role membership click done and now you have oh sorry oh, okay we have additional role sales vp so we will remove that as well now we have only three ro three roles and then click on save now once you make these changes right you added some role to user so you need to go to uh, tools and then scheduled processes and uh, schedule a new process search for ldap so you will have uh, two process with ldap keyword First, you run this send LTAP process. Submit. Then search again. And submit for uh, search for LDAP again. And now select retrieve LDAP changes. Run this as well. In some cases, uh, to sync the security changes, uh, with uh, users and roles, you uh, can select uh, one more process that is user and role. Just search with this keyboard. So you will see uh, one more process, import user and role application security data. Just click on this and click OK. Click OK. And submit this process as well. Now, uh, these process are, processes are running still. So you can see the status here. Uh, send pending LDAP uh, process is completed almost. Retrieve and in, ret retrieve process is still running and import user and uh, application data is still in wait status. These are some background jobs that will run. Uh, that will run to sync the application with uh, uh, the other sources so once this is completed um, so you, uh, we can check so you can search by id This might take some time, so I'll 